We all know about Chucky, the killer doll, and all of his exploits, but very little is known about who he was before he became the iconic doll. We know he was a serial killer, but what led him to this life? What was his involvement with voodoo? Why is he such a rotten prick? Well, in this video we'll explore the horrifying backstory of Charles Lee Ray, the man who would ultimately become the evil, yet often funny slasher we know as Chucky. We'll uncover every detail about his life before he inhabited the iconic good guy doll. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Jake here from Dead Skid. I just want to say really, really quickly that I would massively appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and liking this channel. As a brand new channel, a like, even a comment and a subscribe go a very, very long way. And of course, it takes you just two seconds. So if you're into horror and you're at all enjoying the content here, then please consider subscribing, liking, and even commenting. Thank you all so much. Let's get back to the video. Charles Lee Ray was born and raised in the gritty streets of Chicago, Illinois. His early life was marked by adversity and hardship, elements that would shape his twisted persona. Born into a broken and impoverished family, Charles experienced a tumultuous childhood that offered little in the way of stability or happiness. Growing up in a dysfunctional household, Charles faced a barrage of challenges. His parents' tumultuous relationship was marred by constant arguments and substance abuse, creating an unstable environment for him. The absence of a positive role model and a lack of emotional support left young Charles emotionally scarred. Charles' experiences at school were equally troublesome. His introverted nature and social awkwardness made it difficult for him to form connections with peers. Bullied and ostracized, he withdrew into a world of isolation, nurturing a growing sense of bitterness and resentment. As he entered adolescence, Charles' life took a dark turn. Influenced by the harsh realities of his environment, he began to experiment with petty theft and vandalism. These early forays into criminal behaviour served as a means to vent in his frustrations and asserting control over a world that had been anything but kind to him. As Charles grew older, his criminal activities escalated. He became involved with a dangerous gang in his neighbourhood, engaging in violent confrontations and illicit dealings. This criminal lifestyle offered him a semblance of power and control that he had never experienced before. But it was Charles' fascination with the dark arts that truly set him on a path to becoming Chucky. He delved into the world of voodoo, gaining knowledge of forbidden rituals and incantations. This newfound expertise would play a pivotal role in his ultimate transformation. As Charles grew older, he delved further into the life of crime, becoming a notorious and cunning serial killer. His notoriety stemmed from his expertise in voodoo and dark rituals, which he used to his advantage. Charles Lee Ray was not just a common criminal, he was a master manipulator who reveled in the suffering of his victims. Now, Charles' descent into the supernatural began when he found himself cornered by the police after a robbery had gone wrong. Desperate to escape capture, he sought refuge in a toy store, where a life-altering encounter took place. Mortally wounded with no way out, Charles used his knowledge of voodoo to perform a ritual and transferred his soul into a good guy doll, forever changing his destiny. The moment Charles Lee Ray's soul entered the doll, he transformed into the infamous Chucky. The innocent-looking good guy doll became a vessel for his malevolent spirit setting the stage for a reign of terror that would span multiple films and decades. As Chucky, he embarked on a relentless quest for revenge against those he believed had wronged him. His small size and unassuming appearance allowed him to infiltrate unsuspecting households, where he would reveal his true homicidal nature, leaving a trail of violence and chaos in his wake. And there you have it, that's pretty much the complete story of Charles Lee Ray's troubled early life and his transformation into the iconic killer doll. The Charles Play franchise has continued to evolve over the years, introducing new layers to this chilling character's backstory. Chucky's journey serves as a cautionary tale of how a life marked by darkness and evil can take a horrifying new form, forever haunting our nightmares. Now I know this is quite a short one and there's not a great amount of detail, but it's pretty much all we have on the early days of Charles Lee Ray, so hopefully you still enjoyed. Now if you found this exploration of Chucky's origin enjoyable, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more dark tales from the world of horror. As a brand new channel, your support makes a world of difference. Thank you so much for considering. As always, stay tuned for more spine-tingling content, and stay scared, dead scared.